All right, it is time for us to animate our little robot friend doing his little throat slit taunt at the player. Now to do this, we need to get him associated with the matinee. So I'll select the robot, expand Kismet, select matinee, right click on it, and just choose open Unreal matinee. Now let's close the Kismet editor in the background just to give us some nice screen space. Now with the robot still selected, I'm going to right click on my group track list and create a new empty group, which I'm going to name enemy robot. Now our enemy robot group has a property. Without even adding a track, you'll see a group anim sets property. This is listening out for any anim sets that are going to be used to animate a skeletal mesh. So what we need to do is add a new slot to this. So over on the right hand side, you'll see a little green cross button that says add a new item. Click on that and then we get our first index which is zero. Let's go ahead and open up the content browser and we need to locate an anim set. It's real easy to search for these. Let's just go ahead and sort down by anim sets and only a few really come with UDK. Among them, you'll see K, anim, human, base, male. So go ahead and select that and we'll close out the content browser and let's just click on the use selected object in content browser button, little green arrow. And there we go. We have our anim set assigned to our character, which is great. Now we need an anim track to help us control what the character's doing. So I'm going to right click on the enemy robot group and you see an anim control track. Go ahead and add that. And really that's pretty much all there is to it. Now we need to adjust the camera. So I'm just going to slide down the timeline until we're looking right at the robot so we can get an idea of where we're animating. So we're starting at about four seconds and we're pulling back a little after five. Now, if you need to know what animations you have at your disposal, it's really easy to do. All you need to do is open up the content browser and double click on the anim set in question. Now, there are a lot of tabs here. This is the uh, animation set editor, anim set editor. And there are several different buttons and menus, and it can be a little bit uh, frightening. But if you're just here to preview stuff, simply take a look here on the left hand side and switch over to the anim tab. And now we can actually kind of size some things around to give us a little bit more room. This is a list of all of the different animations that exist inside this anim set. And you see there's a bunch of them. There's a human female idol, which on a guy model looks just hilarious. He's just kind of standing there with his hip out like he's just all that in a bag of chips. Uh, but we can scroll down. Here's uh, the feign death get up. So, whoa, you know, it looks really cool. But if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we see the taunts. So we've got like, bring it on. I do that like every day. The hula hoop. I, I, I don't do that every day. If I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. And if we come all the way down, we've got the slit throat, which is what we're going to make our robot do. So just use this as a way to preview the animations you're going to use. So now let's close out of the anim set editor. I will close out of the content browser as well. And then here at about four seconds, let's go ahead and just press enter in our anim set. And it's going to ask us what anim sequence we want to use. So now that we've tested them all, we know that we want to do taunt UB slit throat. Click OK. And there we go. So now you'll see he's already waiting in the appropriate pose. And I'm scrubbing through real slow. He does his slit throat and then pulls back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this keyframe back just a little bit. So he's already kind of maybe starting to go into the motion right as we you know, catch sight of him. So holding down control, I'm going to slide this keyframe to the left a little bit. So now, as the camera is even getting there, I'm going to try to move Matinee as much out of the way as I can. We'll just pull back a little bit. As we actually get here, he's already going into the motion of slitting his throat, and then as soon as he's done, we're pulling back. Now, technically, he's freezing at that point. So, like, if we switch out of the director group and just have a look. So, it's like he's completely frozen. And then he does his throat slit. And then he just freezes again. But because our camera never really sees that, that's fine. We don't need to worry about it. So, let's take a quick preview, see what this looks like. I'm going to hit stop. And let's hit play. Actually, you know what? Let's stop again. Let me go into game mode because it looks so much better. And here we go. 
He does a little throat slit, and then we fly back, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. Okay, the last thing that we could do is maybe set up uh, some sort of a sound clip, something that this guy could say to us. And there are a few robot voices here that we can mess with. So I'm going to open up the content browser. And let's search... Actually, if I'm, let me come over here to uh, my search line. Let's type in corrupt. And we've got acknowledged. Uh, acknowledged. I think the one that I want is unit in position because that just sounds so ominous. So here's A, bot status, corrupt, unit in position. Unit in position. See, that's just freaky to me. Unit in position. So let's use that, but currently we have kind of a rough time using it because it's not in a sound queue. So what I'm going to do is create us a simple sound queue that we can use. So let's clear all this stuff out. Actually, I've got one put together. I'll show you how I made it real quick. So we just right-clicked here inside my new package, and we created a new sound queue. And what we got, if I open this up in the sound queue editor, which I'm going to do just by using right-click and choosing edit using sound queue editor, all we got was a little blank view here and I selected our sound bite, the little sound we just found where he says unit in position, selected that in the content browser, right clicked and you can add that from the menu and connect it straight in. Now there are actually some lessons over using the sound cue editor. It's a little bit outside the scope here, but it's a very, very easy connection setup process. So, unit in position. so now that's all taken care of. We've got a sound cue for that. So let's set this up so that right as he does the throat slit, he actually says that. So here we are with the enemy robot. I'm going to right click on the group and we will add a new soundtrack to this group. And let's say right about here, we'll press enter and there's our bot voice cue. So now let's give this a quick test. Unit in position. Awesome. So now he's talking to us. With that, our robot is all set up. Let's go ahead and close out of Unreal Matinee. Go ahead and save your level, and then we will continue from here.